Hi guys, and welcome to another FIFA 23 video. So EA didn't give us too much in the way of content for today. Uh, we're going to be covering this 12th man SBC. I'm going to be showing you guys how you complete it, but also giving an out of position SBC. I feel like the last one of these we got as an SBC was for a left mid from the Bundesliga this time. They're giving us a left winger, so not really kind of uh, mixing it up too much there. Our, uh, our EA. I think the last one was from was it from Bochum or something like that? Or was it from Leverkusen? I can't remember. But uh, anyway, we're going to be having a look at this 12th man SBC because it's not often that EA offer out a rare mega pack um, in terms of an SBC return pack uh, but they have on this occasion it is obviously un un well, sadly but at the same time to be expected uh, an untradeable pack in return I don't even know if it's worth it to be honest because it's not unless I'm kind of overseeing this too much and I'm missing something obvious it's not easy to complete this SBC at all. Now, you will see, I haven't hit the chemistry yet, but um, if you applied the position modifiers to Pedenz and Adama Traore, you would hit it. And you can't sit there and say, well, position modifiers are very expensive because you can get them so, so cheap through um, completing the daily SBC. That's that you get like five reruns every single day of the position modifier upgrades, and it only requires like one bronze um, cards to go into those, so that's not going to be a problem, and obviously once those are applied to Traore and to Bidens, you'd obviously hit the, uh, the chemistry, but I think the key to doing this SBC is to make sure you have players from the same league, club, uh, and nation where possible, and we've been able to do that here, you know, and you will have to throw in, because you need an 81 rated squad, you will have to throw in a few 82s and 83s, and they're not cheap anymore, because the academy player pack is still there, and it's going to be there for like at least another um, two months, I think, or something like that, so, um, yeah, I mean, I, I ended up throwing in three 82s and 183, but then it meant I was able to go with some lower end um, cards, in particular from Wolves, which was pretty good, but as you can see, I've gone with four players, or is it three players, no, four players from Bilbao that are all Spanish, three players from Dortmund, that are all German, and then four players from Wolves, Two Spanish, which links in nicely with the Bilbao players, and then two Portuguese, which obviously would be perfect links. And at Neto and get up to further chemistry once Adama and Pedenza had their position modifiers. And that would hit me comfortably to the 31 chemistry. I think it might even get me to max chemistry potentially. But um this is one of the ways that you can do it. I don't know how cheap this is gonna be. Of course, there will be different variations of how you can do it, but it's not I don't even know if it's actually worth it to be honest, you know, because I can see a lot of these cards. And again, I might have completely overseen this SBC and maybe there are much more simpler ways to be able to complete it. But based on like the first kind of half an hour of this SBC being released and me looking at this, I've tried lots of combinations and this was the only way I was able to complete it. So I think a lot of these players, if you've got them in your club and they're tradable, maybe look to try and sell these on or maybe even look to invest in them potentially um, if they're still going for pretty cheap on the market because they could be good for that. I think buying a team like this could end up being very, very expensive. I think this SBC in general could end up being very expensive. And whilst you're getting a decent pack in return, it's not like a pack where then if you get anything good, you can sell the stuff on. Ultimately, it's just only an untradable pack. You very well might end up putting more into the SBC than that actually getting something good back in return because you're not going to get coins back in return all you're going to be getting is cards club assets and there's obviously a very high probability that they're not going to contain a fantasy foot player which is what you're going to be looking for so um i don't know if this one's worth it to be quite honest i think it's very very expensive but i mean there is something that you can go and look at uh, and you can see what their prices are on the market i'm assuming they won't be cheap but ultimately um, it is a way to be able to complete the SBC and you don't have to necessarily copy it. You can obviously take inspiration from it and kind of uh, play around with a few of the different clubs, nations and all that type of thing um, to find a different variation of being able to complete this SBC. But let me guys know what you think of it. Is there an easy way to be able to do it? And have you done it as well? Let me know. But uh, I won't be doing it. I don't have any of these players and they're probably going to be very expensive now. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you all later.